text and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay I actually just put on some Laura Mercier um, primer. So I just did that on my face. And now I'm getting ready to juice me up a little bit. I'm getting ready to do a little, little some, some, some. A very little some, some. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm here getting ready to do whatever I do. Don't really know what. Don't have all my stuff. So, mm, hold on. Okay. So, went back. Grabbed a couple of more little things I think that I might need. And yeah, let me wet my beauty blender. And I'm going to try to do a little some some. So, <clears throat> I think I have everything that I need, but I may have to interrupt this for a moment. Uh, but we shall see. So, I'm going first in. Y'all already know with my Tatcha. I'm going to do it for up under my eyes and fill in those lines, or at least try to conceal them. So I'm just gonna put on a little dab. A little dab like that. Then I'm gonna pat it in. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I am going to try, well, let me do this first. Uh, I don't know why I forgot. I got a four o'clock appointment, so it is, what time is it? 12.16, it's 12.16, so I got a four o'clock appointment, so that means I need to leave here at like 3.30. So hopefully I can get this done and get a picture in and then be out of here. So, uh, I haven't did this in so long, I, I like forget what I do get what I need to do. So I'm gonna use, not this, I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty. So while I'm doing this and y'all ain't just gotta sit here and watch me, I thought we would have some fun. So I thought that I would do a little would you rather. Would you rather. So let me bring back up my, thought it was gonna stay up, but it didn't. Okay. So we are gonna play a little would you rather. I thought that would be Something different, just something to do and to laugh at and to have fun, girl fun with. Y'all know I'm all about girl fun and just having fun. Living life to the fullest. If you are new to my channel, hello. I hope you have become a part of what I do. Love on me as I love on you and subscribe to my channel. It's so simple by hitting that little red subscribe button. You have just subscribed. And if you are returning, hello girl. Hey, welcome and thank you so much girl for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it, babe. We are just going to talk about would you rather. Okay, would you rather. First one being, would you rather, I gotta hurry up y'all because I, like I said, I got an appointment I gotta get to. So we're gonna try to juice this up really quick. So the first one is, would you rather be given flowers or a plant? What would you rather be given? I wanna know, comment down below. Let me know, would you rather be given plants or flowers? Me personally, I am a flower girl, love plants, but I love flowers. So, if you want to give me something, give me some flowers. I love the color of them. I love the smell of them. I love, I'm really not a green thumb person. Don't get me wrong, I love plants, love them, love them. But my husband have more of the green thumb than I do. And yeah, I just can't. I, I tried a million and one times, but I just can't get it right. So. I prefer, I prefer um, flowers. So what would, you, what would you prefer, sis? What would you prefer? What would you prefer people to give you? I remember I had this one boyfriend. I'm like, really boy? 
it was for Mother's Day. He brought me a plant. Sis, why? Okay, this was back in the day. This is nothing that I would accept today, but this was back in the day. So why he gave me and his girl the same plant? Was they a special at Osco? Were they a special somewhere? And you're just like, okay, I'm gonna give you and Karen the same thing. Yep, her name was Karen. Was he like, yep, I'm gonna give you and Karen the same thing and gave both of us some plants, y'all. I'm like, what the hell? What the heck am I supposed to do with this? Oh, so when I found out, I was, of course, very pissed. But, you know, that's neither here or there. But, yeah, I was given a plant by him. But, yeah, times have changed. And, of course, I have moved on. <laughs> but, yep, so I was given a plant back then. So, I just want to know, what would you prefer, sis? The next one is... I want to know, would you rather be doing nothing all day or shopping all day? What do you prefer? If you had a day that you truly did not have to do anything or a day that you just wanted to go out and just shop, y'all shopping is exhausting. It is exhausting to me. If I had a day to do nothing, I would absolutely take that day and do nothing. I wouldn't go anywhere. I wouldn't do anything. I would just take a day. Just take a day. It's so hard to just take a day because in the midst of just taking a day, you always find yourself doing something. Whether it's up cooking dinner, whether it's up doing whatever, you're up doing something. But if I had my way, I would do nothing. You, I feel like you can always shop, but getting that day to yourself, oh, it's so priceless. So I'm definitely give me a day and I'm, I'm good give me that day please give me that day that's all i ask for is just a day that's all i ask for sis give me the day so that's what i would prefer so yep yeah. so the next one is what would you rather do be on an island for a week by yourself or go to your next family reunion what would you rather do i'm sorry call me selfish but give me an island for a week by myself <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that week by myself, please. Yeah, family reunions don't really do. Can't say when the last time we actually had a family reunion. It's been some years and that was a hot tail mess and I didn't attend. But yeah, would not, mm -mm. no, not doing a family reunion. So give me that island by myself and I'm Gucci. What would you rather do? Would you rather be on that island by yourself for a week or would you rather go to the next family reunion? What would you rather do? The next one, y'all. Would you rather, would you rather have no more TV and just watch YouTube and not being able to watch your reality shows or do you have to have your reality shows? So if you had to have, to pick one, reality show or if you had to pick one, reality show or reality show or YouTube, which one would it be? I'm picking YouTube all day long. I used to be, oh my gosh, such a junkie for a reality show until I got hooked on YouTube. I'm like, I don't need that drama. I don't need that, all of that um, gossiping and fighting and mm-mm. I watch YouTube all day long. And it's a couple of reasons why I choose YouTube other than, um, what am I looking for? It's uh, other than, okay, I would prefer to watch um, YouTube because a couple of factors. One, if you on TV, chances are, since you making it, you already got it. You already doing something and your coins are already long. So I am gonna support my YouTube channels all day long i'm all for the as they say the little businesses than the big businesses so that's the main factor that i would choose youtube instead of reality tv show and one i am just over reality tv shows i didn't really see so i was a big fan of housewives of atlanta um, this year, I have not really been keeping up with what's really been going on. I do know that they are not even on for whatever reasons. I don't know because, again, 
I haven't even really been following them like that. Um, so I know Portia did something about fiance, some, this new man that she's getting ready to marry. Her fiance, she did some type of reality show with that. Don't have a clue of what it was about. Never watched it. Just was over it. And I think Candy got one out now in reference to family or something. Don't know, never watched it. Yeah, I, I just prefer, so I just would prefer YouTube than to continue to make them rich when they're already at the status. So, yeah, that's just me personally. So, but what would you prefer? Would you prefer YouTube or reality show? The next one, would you rather have a sugar daddy or a broke love of your life? What would you prefer? Would you prefer a sugar daddy or a broke love of your life? I know some of us, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm not gonna even say that. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say it. But I know some of us already have our broke daddies, so. Somebody probably is like, well, I wanna experience how I experience uh, having a rich daddy. But me personally, I think I take my own. I, I think I keep what I got. Cause they say money can't buy happiness, but I think it could do a whole bunch of other things, right? I, I'm, 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 again, I'm Gucci. <laughs> I'm Gucci. Now, if something happened between me and my husband and it didn't work out for whatever reason, my next man, it would be for money. Sorry, but it will. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm just keeping it 100, y'all. I would not be with and with that being said, I probably would be by myself. Because, well, no, I take that back. I wouldn't do it for the man. One, I don't like sugar daddies. One, I don't like older men. Is a sugar daddy considered an older man? Is a sugar daddy considered an older man? Maybe that should be the question. I, for some reason, cannot get with an older man. And I don't know, we just always relate sugar daddies to older men, right? Can sugar daddy be a young man, somebody who's just giving you money? Is that still a sugar daddy? I don't know, I, I ain't been in that that um, arena in a long time, so not sure if that is even considered a sugar daddy. But I don't think I want, well I know I don't want an older man. Mm -mm. I pass on that. Nope, I'm, I'm Gucci. Yeah, I would have to pass on that one. So what would you prefer? Would you prefer Maybe that should have been the question. Would you prefer an older man who would give you anything and everything? Or would you just consider the broke love of your life? On that note, I would have to consider a broke love of my life. I never, ever, 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 ever. I just, I don't know. I just, I could never get with an older man, y'all. I dated when I was younger. I wouldn't say really dated, uh, but I've been with an older man. I just, I don't know, I just, it's just not for me, but that's not to say it's not for you, it's just not for me. And I, I don't like older men, I just, but again, that's just me. So what would you prefer, sis? What would you prefer? Okay, the next one, y'all, we moving on. Would you rather walk on a public bathroom barefoot or walk on poison ivy? Which one would you prefer? Which one would you prefer? Me personally, oh, I messed that up. So, okay, so would you rather walk on a restaurant floor barefoot or walk on poison ivy? Me, I am a germaphobic and I will probably lose it. Walking on a public bathroom floor, oh my God, I couldn't even, no. I would probably just lose it. Walking on a public floor, I could never. I, would, I guess I would have to walk on poison ivy. Don't know how that is, but I would have to take my chances. I think if I walked on, if I walked on a public bathroom floor, oh my God, it wouldn't be good, y'all. It wouldn't be good. I don't like walking anywhere without my shoes on, let alone a public bathroom. I would be devastated. I go in a bathroom, a public bathroom, and the matter of fact, oh my God, matter of fact, so just having flashbacks of it. So when we were moving down here, we stopped at a rest stop, a rest area. And mind you, this rest area 
was just that. It was not like in a restaurant. It was just the, the rest area, the restaurant. And went in there and it was this lady with her kids. Um, the little girls was brushing their teeth and the little girls were brushing their teeth and the little boy, none of them had on shoes. I was just like, <sighs> I couldn't, I couldn't. I'm just like, what is going on here? What is going on? Where's their shoes at mama? Where are they shoes? Yeah, nobody had on shoes. They're at the counter brushing their teeth. I was just like, oh my God, that could not be me and my kids. That could not be us. I would be like, oh my God. In a public bathroom, what? Yeah, I can't, I can't for no reason. Some people just roll that way, but mm -mm. I could never do that. I would be like, oh my God, what did I just do? So yeah, that's definitely a no. Uh, yeah. And then we were here, where were we at? We were somewhere. I was somewhere and somebody, let me get my other room. I was somewhere and the kids, it was, so where was I at? And somebody, they were in the bathroom and nobody had on shoes. That really does something to me when I see that y'all. I'm just like, I, I, I could never do that. Oh uh, yeah, so I think I will have to walk on some poison ivy before I walk in a establishment barefoot. I couldn't do that. So, would you rather Eat at any restaurant of your choice for a week and feel horrible or cook your meals for the rest of this year at home. What would you rather do? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. I'm like, your sis like to go out and eat. But if I know if it was going to make me feel horrible, I think I will have to pass. I think that's going to be a strong pass, y'all. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to pass. What do, what would what would y'all do? Yeah, so I think I will have to pass that one up and stay at home and just eat eat at home. I guess. Almost done, y'all. That was less than what 15 minutes. What would you do, rather do, sis? I want to know. I want to know what would you rather do? Okay. <clears throat> the next one. Would you rather dress up for the rest of this year or wear loungewear for the rest of this year? Which one would you prefer to do? Dress up or wear loungewear? You would have to wear loungewear everywhere. Uh, I'm going to take my chances and dress up because they say, they say that if you ready, you ain't got to get ready. So I'm going to take my chances and I'm just seeing what else I need to do. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I am going to chances and dress up for the rest of this. Year. So I'm going to go and um, get my lipstick. Did I bring it? Give me one minute and I'll be right back. All I have to do is put my lipstick on and I think I'm going to do a unit. Yep, I'm going to get a unit. I'll be back. So I'm going to do my eyelashes and that's it y'all. That is it. I'm going to use this prime lash. Oh my God. It really, really is so good. And it really pulls your hair and I love this. It makes my eyelashes look so much longer. That's it for this look. Let me get my spray. And that's it y'all. That's it. That's all. So now I am getting ready to do my hair. And I think I'm going to do a unit real quick. So I'm going to put this up and then I'm going to get my units real quick. Yeah. Okay. So because I have to have an appointment, so I'm not going to do my units. So I'm just going to put my hair up and then I'll get dressed in my outfit and show y'all what I'm going to take pictures in. How about that? So we're just going to call this a, yep, a get ready with me. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I think I'm going to cut my hair. I think I am getting ready to cut it because when it get hot, it get hot. And yeah, I really lynching toward getting ready to cut it. So did we finish the game? Oh my God, did we finish it? Oh, I didn't. I still had a couple of more questions. Okay, so y'all, would you rather 
Okay, so I did the dress up. Would you prefer a cleaning service to clean your home and it's not to your satisfaction? Or would you prefer to just clean it yourself and you didn't have to pay for it? So would you prefer a cleaning service to come clean your house that you didn't have to pay for? Or would you just prefer to clean your house yourself? Me personally, uh, I'm going to have to clean my house myself. And especially if it's not to my satisfaction. I'm going to have to clean my house myself. I ain't got time to be sitting around in no dirty house. House that is not clean to my satisfaction. So yeah, so I'm just going to have to clean my house myself. Um, the other one and the last one, would you rather have uh, many friends that are fake or would you prefer one good friend? Give me my one good friend. I ain't got time for no, for no mess. I'm sorry. Okay. So now I'm ready for my little fiddle shoot. I'm almost on the fence on if I need to bring some baby hairs down or should I just keep it slick back? Maybe I'll keep it slick back. I always do the baby hairs. Maybe I'll do those. Or maybe I'll take some before and some after and see which ones look best. That's what I'll do. Um, so, yep. So, I am going to go ahead and get ready. Put these back up. Okay, y'all. So, here is my outfit. So, I have on this pretty yellow tank top from Fashion Nova. Love that the back is out. Oh, my God. Love that. Love that for me. And then I have on these distressed shorts. Came from Fashion Nova as well, as well as these green sandals. I don't know if you can see them, but they came from Nordstrom. I'll see if I can tilt it downward. Let's see, I don't have my regular tripod, so. Okay, there we go. So these are the shoes that I am rocking, yes. Hopefully the light is okay. Of course, my lighting, everything is in my box so yeah but this is what i have on so this is what i'm getting ready to take pictures in so yep yeah. so that is what we have guys and but okay so this is what we have guys so i hope you all have enjoyed this video a quick little get ready with me as i get ready to take my photos so if you are new to my channel hello welcome come on to be a part of what i do grow with me as i grow with you go ahead and subscribe to my channel by simply hitting that subscribe button right down below i would love to have you join the family yes and if you are returning hello hey welcome girl come on Hey babe, welcome back. I so greatly appreciate it. And I will chit chat with y'all in my next video because there's a battery getting ready to die. Bye.
face You can keep your bitter I'ma make a better way Hey, hey, hey nigga, catch a break